Okay, hey there Mousies. So today we're going to be reviewing the Art Snacks June 2020 box. Yes, I know it's a little bit late and I usually post this super, f super fast as soon as I, as I get it. But you know, a lot of stuff has been happening lately. Um, so I won't bore you with those details, but here we go. Um, so here we have the box, the Dum Dum, of course. And inside we have the first item, which is the Rembrandt Soft Pastels. It's set of five. I got the deep blues version. Now there are a couple of other colors I believe out there. I've seen green, I've seen yellow. So they came in a variety of colors, basically. All right, now let's start opening the most difficult part. I don't know, for some reason I always have a hard time opening it because they make it super tight. <laughs> Okay, so, whoa, so my camera got kind of chaotic, had to fix and adjust that, I think everything just kind of fell down. Okay, so here's a sticker, super cute sticker, very classic art snacks, ta da ta da, -da, -da. alright, so, I think it has like a little pattern on it. I'm doing the voiceover, so I'm just looking at the video while I'm going through it all. <laughs> okay, so a few new things that I've never encountered. The artist Shammy or Shimmy or Shimwa or however, it, on here it says it's pronounced Shami. Shami. S-H-A-M-E-E. -E. Yeah. So this is actually a useful art tool that I've come across that I've never seen before. It is basically a soft pliable leather and it kind of helps you blend smoothly. Next is the Zebra Zen Sations Graphics Technical Pencil. This was actually pretty good. I liked the precision of the pencil and it's actually pretty dark. So when I started writing on here, it was pretty, it was pretty dark because I have quite a few mechanical pencils and they tend to be on the lighter side and I know it definitely does depend on what type of lead you have in the pencil. But for some reason this was actually, I believe it was a uh, HB and it was pretty dark. And the next thing was the... Credicolor Mega Colored Pencil. Now, I love these colored pencils because they color smoothly, and if you want to blend them, they're actually very easy to blend. And they're actually thicker, so I guess it's kind of easier to hold. And the one that I got was Olive Green Dark, which is nice that they actually put the name and color of the pencil on there because sometimes a lot of color pencils don't have the name or color of the brands on the pencil and then you just forget and you're just like what pencil is this where did I get it from blah 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 so <clears throat> excuse me okay and then the last thing I believe is the Edding Edding 1200 metallic color pen okay and this is a staff favorite. This pen is just amazing. The vibrance of the metallic color is just like, what? It's just amazing. And it's an iridescent water-based ink and is extremely vibrant. It works well on both light and dark, yes, because I've actually used it on a dark piece of paper. But the tip is kind of soft, so when you go to write or let's say outline something or I don't know, it's just it's hard to explain. It it's smooth along the paper. Like when you write it, you know how sometimes you get that stop and it doesn't really flow, like it, you you have a heavy ink part in some places when you stop and go. Here, no. This pen you don't. So I really like the box. Okay, my one main thing that I have a tendency to shy away from is pastels. 
I've tried over and over, and if you've seen a couple of my other videos, I've tried over and over again to use pastels or some type of um, pastel. But I know they have like pencil pastels, they have soft pastels, they have hard pastels, they have new pastels. New pastels is something that I'm familiar with um, just because I actually used to do a lot of background coloring with it. But these soft pastels, I don't think I've ever used them. Like, ever. Not even as a kid, I don't think I've ever used them. So, they actually, and, and it says here on the Art Snacks um, breakdown, it's basically used all over the world. So, this set of, it's five hues, so it makes the blending easy. It's highest degree, the pure color, highest degree of light fast, light fastness due to being produced with kaolin, oh, an extra fine clear china clay, kaolin clay, it's funny, I used to use kaolin clay all the time in my soaps when I used to do soap making. These pastels have a velvety softness perfect for layering techniques. So, this is where that chamois comes into play. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and hit all. Because apparently if you don't, you see nothing. <laughs> Alright, back to it. So, when I started using them, it, obviously soft pastels are very, very, very powdery. Okay? And this is the one reason why I think I kind of deterred from using them because they are just generally very messy like messy I did this little swatch thing here and <laughs> my fingers are blue literally um, you know some people are like oh you can use a glove yeah when you use a glove you don't you don't get the feel you don't get to feel the product and and control the level of hardness to it so it's, you know using gloves is out of the question that's just silly because then it's not really art right I mean unless you're doing like resin or something that is actually chemically harmful gloves aren't really something you want to do with art I mean there is clean art there is messy art but that was the whole point of using this chamois okay so it said originally to wash it Yes, I know. I should have washed it. Da, 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 da. Okay, but I didn't want to wash it because I wanted to see how I can use it. You know, it's a basically a piece of leather, soft leather. It's here. Let's let's take a peek at what it uh, breaks down to. You'll find this leather can blend more smoothly than your fingers, which I did the test. <laughs> Right there, you can see I did the right side with the chamois and the left side with my finger. Now you can see it's not pretty much, honestly, I, I didn't like using it. I didn't find any benefit to using it, maybe because I was using it wrong, but I didn't find any benefit to using it, honestly. I would have rather used my finger than to use the chamois. And I tried over and over and over again to try to use it, but it took off so much pastel uh, that it didn't really benefit me at all. Like if I was just doing, if I just used the pastel and then put it, put it on the chamois, then put the chamois on the paper as the color there, then yeah, I could see that being a little bit better, but that wasn't the purpose of it. So I thought maybe I used the wrong side, so I flipped it over and tried using the other side. Yeah, that was just pretty funny because that didn't do anything. Um, so yeah, I didn't see any purpose to doing that. So I just decided to try over and over again to try to blend the color as best I could. So basically I went over it again and used just the pastels, not my finger, and went, you know, as you would do a gradient go back, take one color, go back, go, go back and forth, take another color, go back and forth and see if I could do it there. And then, then that's when I found that it was most vibrant. 
Now, when I used my, uh, when I used to use my new pastels, I would not leave a drawing like that. I would not, I'd have to finish the drawing and then I would have to spray it. So spray, what do you mean I'm referring to? So whenever I use pastels or color, I think it was color pens, color pencils, I would spray it with an artist um, spray. It basically sets sets whatever whatever type of uh, media you use in its place and uh, what is it oh my gosh what's the name of it? oh workable fixative there you go it's artist workable fixative and I'll put the link below I, I don't remember the brand um, but I would spray it so this way it won't go, get messy and get all over everything and if it's in a book it would make sense right so you don't get the other pages all kind of messy and affect all your other drawings so <clears throat> so basically I would always spray it down now when I was using this over and over going back and forth back and forth so I tested it on this paper and I'll post on my Instagram what I used on the black like what picture I did on the black paper and you'll see the difference because I'm going to post a uh, before and after, like before the fixative and then after I cleaned up and then put the fixative on. And you'll see the difference between the two. It's like, it's almost like night and day a little bit because beforehand you have to be careful, don't touch. And when it comes to adding the fixative, the fixative does, it's not like a set in stone kind of thing, but it basically gives it like a light coating until you want it completely coated then you'd either put um, a fixative over it a few times or you could do an acrylic um, coating over it an acrylic coating spray over it but I just use the fixative for the time being just in case I want to go back and like make a little edits that's what the fixative is for it's, you're able to do that so here I put a little, I did a little sketch doing a little face just to see how I can actually use it, like what I would be able to do with a pastel. Because again, I'm not, I was never taught how to use pastels in school. Um, I pretty much, I was more of a painter in school. So I did a lot of uh, oil painting, um, acrylic painting, watercolor. Actually, not watercolor, comes to think of it. Yeah, we only did really oil painting in school. There was no even acrylic. Yeah, that's right. I, oh, wow. Times are changing. <laughs> so, originally I had, um, I actually practiced in oil painting, traditional oil painting. And that's actually what I used to be really good at. But because um, I didn't have space wasn't able to do it anymore really because you need a well ventilated area you need space for your paintings to be able to dry or to go back to them and work with them so the only time I ever used um, a oil painting oil paint was when I was in school and yeah nowadays I I mean I would love to get back into it because Working with oil painting is very, 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 very flexible because if you tend to you tend to overanalyze, especially as an artist, and you know you're your own worst critic, right? So, and that's like me to the. T okay, so yeah, I just basically I wanted to start to do a lot of more things freehand and kind of not think so much into it and just kind of just do it get it out there just kind of stop worrying about what other people think and just do what you want to do basically so I just started playing around with this just to see how it is how it comes out and you know a lot of people tend to say well my brother actually would say oh it doesn't look perfect it's art it's not supposed to look perfect it's not supposed to be like all 
structured you know art is supposed to be freeing and relaxing and just not the same because if everybody had the same kind of art guess what it would be boring out there people totally boring so every like the common phrase is is art is in the eye of the beholder and it's true because everyone sees things differently I could look at anybody's art and tell you the best part about it. Every art has a best part, whether it's a novice, whether it's experienced artists, but everybody has a different type of art and a different style. That's the whole point of doing art is to express yourself and being the same and doing the same things, you know. That's not really expressing yourself, you know. Um, so <laughs> I'm just going to skip ahead. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So I just did a piece with, at the end of the, uh, this is the end of this, um, with the two little fish kissing and doing hearts and stuff. Um, just to kind of give it a fun element to it. So it's not just so structured. And then <laughs> my daughter ends up uh, sitting in my lap. <laughs> she ends up sitting in my lap because my daughter just loves my art supplies and this is my baby girl this is Luna uh, <laughs> she wants to touch all my art supplies Lily she likes opening the boxes with me that is alright Mousy so this is the end of the video um, let me know your thoughts your experiences with pastels um, if you love them you hate them uh, can't stand them you'd prefer another medium just leave it in the comments below so we can get a conversation going thank you so much for watching have a great day <laughs> bye